Hello and welcome to a short video tutorial on how to use a 3D PDF file. I'll show you this today using a KBK light crane system as an example. Here you can see a fuzzy image of the system. The reason for that is that we first have to trust the document and of course activate it. When the image comes into focus, you can see a system made of, of aluminium, which has three crane bridges. The first crane bridge has a load capacity of 125 kilos, the second 250, and the third crane, which is made of steel profile sections, can carry up to 500 kilograms. In addition, I'll now also activate the tree on the left. This enables you to hide various components and sub-assemblies. So first of all, I want to hide the floor. To do this, you deselect the building. Then you can also hide the individual load hooks. That's the first one. Then the one on the right and another one here. So step by step, you can get a better overview. So what do these load hooks represent? Well, the load hook shows the trolley approach dimension on the left and right. And last but not least, we can also hide this load hook, which leaves us with a nice tidy diagram. By holding down the left mouse button, you can easily move the system back and forth. If you now hold down both mouse buttons, you can also move the system sideways. And with the mouse wheel, you can zoom into the file for an even better view. You can also select more options by using the right mouse button and say what you want to do via tools. For example, here you can select rotate. As soon as you select rotate, the, the left mouse button behaves in a different way. You can see how the system rotates a little, but I will stay with spin. So using the right mouse button again, with views, you can zoom direct into certain views. For example, you can look at the system from the left, or you can view it from above. And then let's go back again, because there are even more possibilities. For example, you can select model render mode if you want to make the entire system transparent or for example you can select illustration and then it looks like this so now we will go back to the classic view and i will show you how individual components can be made to look transparent so to do this, you select the relevant component, in this case, the rail. You can zoom in a little and position it a bit better. Using the right mouse button, part options, you can also select transparency here. And there you can see the rail is now transparent and you can see the trolley in the rail. So now I will do the same on the left with the large aluminium rail. So we select part options, click on make transparent, and that looks really good too. So another thing you can do with this file is you can create cross sections. So up here, you select toggle cross section and then select cross-section properties 
and then in the various axes you can choose what sections you want to see so first of all i'll remove the x-axis because i don't want to cut anything out here and i can also choose a cutting plane that i don't want to see so now i will show you what show intersections means so i click on y then you can see straight away that i've created a section in the y axis so i'll turn it a bit towards the left and you can clearly see the intersections here if you unclick that the intersections disappear and now you can use the offset to choose where you want to place the cross section and you can also add a slight tilt to the whole cross section view so this gives you a lot of possibilities to play with so now you can see it would be better if we can see at least the right hand rail and you can do that so you click on the rail with a with a double click so just one double click is enough and that selects the rail with its suspensions and then in cross section properties you can choose to ignore the selected parts and then you can still create a cross section so that was a quick introduction to our products in 3d do try this out for yourself and if you have any tips please let us know and i'll say goodbye for now